Oh, we're just doing oil for now. Yeah, we're just doing oil for right now. All right. So first things first. Will it start? Watch your fingers. Clear. Runs. Runs. Okay. Let me grab the oil pan. Want me to bring over the oil? That would be wonderful. Are you using all of it? Um, I have no idea how much this holds. This car's destination for the scrapyard, so that's why we're doing this. Oh, that's a tiny little oil filter. I mean, that thing's like the size on your Polaris. That's small. Polaris's might be bigger. So what are the parameters for the test? How are you going to know if it works or not? Well, we're going to run it. Let's see if it seizes up. Can we check the oil after we run it for a little bit? Yep. So that is definitely automotive oil, right? Okay. I think this holds right around four quarts. Well, it's pretty low to begin with. Well, it's draining right now. Right, but it's dry. Okay, so, you know. How many miles are on it? The magical number. The magical number. Um, 174,845 miles. What a shame. 174,845? Yep. What a shame. Now, I'm not changing the oil filter. Just to let them see the waste of money. Is it one of the little tiny ones? That are about... It's like that big. About that big, yeah. Yeah. Take off the oil filter and drain as much oil as I can out of it, okay? Okay, good idea. You want to run it with more oil to see if it makes any noises? It's like seize up. Gee whiz. Hey, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Can you get off the trailer and help me with this right here? I can't get that with my hand. I'm right handed, so. You see it right there? Yeah. I don't want to have to run and get a wrench. Yep, eventually I'll teach him. Alright, slot turn. Did you? Yep. Grab, grab my hand. Alright, maybe I won't drain the oil filter. I don't think I have an oil filter wrench that small. I don't have a motorcycle. No, I have motorcycle tools, so. Okay. Yeah, let's not crush it. Alrighty. Mm. Well, it's just about done draining. Alright. So, one quart, one pint, so that's one and a half quarts. So we'll need. Three bottles all together. For a gallon? That's a little over a gallon because that's one and a half. So that's two makes three. No. Three times three is nine pints. Nine pints? Mm -hmm. Okay. We need eight pints. Oh, no, we're not quite ready yet. Almost. Gotta put the oil over. Let's 
Let's see how little oil there was in it. Wow. Uh, that definitely sure. needed an oil change. Black murky oil. All right. Uh, Seventeen, please. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have to blur it out. All right. That's green. Pure canola oil. Kroger brand. Wonderful. See if Kroger's any good? No. I know it's going to take this whole bottle. I wonder how long it'll run for. Looks about the same viscosity. It's a pretty mild day outside, so the viscosity should be just about right. Two of these should make three quarts, right? Yes. And then we'll check the dipstick since we didn't do the filter. It means it'll come out a little murky because of it. Safe zone? Here, halfway's there. Halfway's there? Oh, no, a little I really want to know if this will work. Good for emergencies. Check your dipstick. I'm full. Ready for ignition? Light up, see what happens. Fingers clear? Clear. That's duplicating. Turn it off and let's check the dipstick. All right. That's going to be really cool. I remember there's going to be some brown in it because we didn't drain the filter. That's right. This is a scrapyard junkie. See, metal parts falling off everywhere. This engine runs really well. It shouldn't hurt it. What do you think the viscosity is that? Like 10 weight? Yeah, 10 or 15. The only thing that I can think of that would go wrong is that once it gets too hot, it's it would going to smoke. That's it. If we love, that smokes it, um, right about 480 degrees. This car should never get that hot. That's right. Let's use up the rest of the fuel and see what happens. <laughs> Shall we try to blow the motor?
is this? <laughs> Oh, the whole car smells funny. with canola oil in the, ah, wrong way. Runs with canola oil in the motor. Now we're gonna try putting in the gas.